to make it a little quieter. Just gonna reach in and turn one of those off. <laughs> quieter throughout the day from here on out. Where is that vapor temp being right? Vapor temperature is right after the beer heater. All right, we're a little hot still. City water's not dealing as much as I wanted it to, but we're no longer at 140 degrees on the condenser temperature, so that's good. Um, be about two, three minutes and we'll be cold enough. I just didn't want to overshoot when we were upstairs. And have to steam back up. Uh, I was trying to count for how much cool, relatively, water is in the full coils inside the cooker. Even when I shut off the flow of cold water to it, it's still gonna sit there and absorb some of the heat that's in there uh, and cool it down. So I, I can overshoot, you know, you'll still convert at 144, but not as well. 146 Fahrenheit to 150 is about what we're targeting. So I stop it at 152 to account for that drift. Plus, I mean, it's only eight bags of barley, but that's colder than what's in there too, so that's gonna absorb some heat as well. All right, I'll update them too. Which one did you try? I yeah. like me. Fair enough. <laughs> um, just letting it knock down a little further. Uh, so those cooling coils are open. We explain this. Um, the cooling coils are open. There's cold water, city water going through it. Uh, I want to let it get a little colder before I dump. Make sure we're at ideal conversion temperatures. Then you're going to let it rest for 15, 20 minutes? Uh, I'll do probably 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. And then you bring it right down the All the way down, yeah. So. <laughs> you're good. I'll, uh, I'll get the first one set up. Great. Uh, so. More of a safety demonstration. Not using your back. So I try and use as much of my arms as I can to lift it. I like these bags a lot. You can get under the string. They'll tear right off. And I'll, I'll wait a minute to dump it, but just don't hurt your back. <laughs> um, we saw this morning, kind of the opposite of what I'm worried about now, corn being big whole pieces. It's easy to have it not feed through fast enough. Barley being softer than the just dried corn, malted barley will feed through super fast and plug up the conveyance. So, I'm gonna pull the gate back a little bit more. Every grain is gonna have a different feed, uh, feed rate that's appropriate for the system. So I'm gonna dial this back some. I might open it up a little bit more, <clears throat> depending on how it's running. We'll get a feel for it. It's definitely gonna be less. We don't wanna have to take it apart and suck it all out and try again. What's our uh, cooker temperature? 152? That's close enough. By the time we get it in there, it'll be 150, 149. So, making sure we lift, just with our legs, and then move over, not at the same time. So, So I'm keeping an eye on the sight glass. Ideally, it'll go in as fast as I can prep the next one and keep going. But sometimes it's a little fast, depending on how fast you are, you can overwork it. Try and take advantage of dust. A little simple tally system works well. We're doing eight bags total. It'll be 4% of our recipe. Who's next? Knife for you there. 
that knife for you there. So if you cut all the way through, oh, you want, you want if you do, then you can tear the whole top off, and then it doesn't get stuck in your bits. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Otherwise, you get bits on the floor. <laughs> Beautiful form. Beautiful. So that's a good healthy flow. That's a good healthy flow. Pretty much what we saw with the corn and the rye. Going too much faster than that, and we will get. You'll see it starts to slow down, and then it'll stop. And that's when you want to slam the gate close. Ah, <clears throat> uh, cigarettes. <laughs> He's, he's probably out front. Satisfying, right? One big pickup. Then just put it back down. <laughs> We're going too fast. We're doing too well. Oh, you're good. It'll fit that. Uh, 150 to 146 is fine. It'll keep drifting down below 152. It probably has already. Uh, I will turn cooling off though. Turn my coils off. No more for you coils. It's a real Huckleberry Finn move, right? I've got a white picket fence for later. Quick question. Yeah. You think I, I can't find George? Well, actually, I saw him. He's way down there. Uh, do you guys want those samples if I put them in Ziploc bags, the little brain samples? Um, that'd be great actually. That'd be what interesting. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Who's next? Next victim! Alright, absolutely. You didn't, you didn't make a tally. It's the most satisfying part. Halfway there. Yeah. You, you burned off that whole meal of grits. Uh, you have to unscrew these to get into it. 
I forgot that existed. I, I never bother with it. I really only use it while I'm tuning. Let's a whole bunch of dust in. So barely getting broken barely, up there at the top. Barely skipping them, huh? Yeah. That top one's probably more for crushing corn than barley. Yeah. We'll get down to the bottom. Yeah. Nice and turbulent. Bypass. We're, we're learning continuous distillation. Ooh. Bypassing when appropriate. That's six. <laughs> All right, last one. Huh? Don't drop that paper in there. <laughs> I drew a hot mic, by the way. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> They're going to edit it. <laughs> Just so you know, if you want to say something extra funny. And then this one time at band camp. <laughs> All right. That's Barley Edition. <laughs> One more satisfying tally. And I set a timer for an hour. All right. So we're checking just because we trusted it to do what I know it will, but we should see it. We let it stop at 152 knowing it was going to drift. So now it's bouncing between 147 and 149. Mm -hmm. And that's a good sweet spot for barley to do its work. Uh, an optimal temperature for the uh, alpha and beta amylase of barley to go to work. Um, we stopped, I set it a little higher knowing there's cold water in the coils. I see. And that's not gonna take immediate effects, but that plus adding 
cold barley to it. I'm just gonna drop it down some. So you're back on auto now. So, you're, you're, you're so I'm neither heating or cooling. Auto is kind of a new. It's, it's, it really should be cooker neutral. Oh, it's neutral. Yeah, it means nothing's on. Uh, well, with that, I think I'll probably take us back upstairs. We're just watching the still run. Should be close. I'll keep an eye on it and make sure we don't miss that. But we have a uh, Master Cooper here. Treat, a treat for everyone, right, Teresa? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll bring us all upstairs.